you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. And in memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. And we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. And Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Benedict, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, and the entire church. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. And may we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. faithful to the teaching of Jesus, we pray just as he taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all needless anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and the unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and let us offer to each other, then, a sign of that peace. Peace be with you, brother.
This is the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, and happier we who are called to share in this supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. And may the body and the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Will those of you at home join with me now in the Hail, Holy Queen? Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn them, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy upon us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O kind Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. And let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the many signs of your love for us. Save us by the birth of your Son, and give us joy in honoring St. Stephen the Martyr. And we ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And also May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let us go in the peace of Christ. I hope that you have a good day. I hope that God will continue to bless you, your families, and to help each of us to live and to recognize the Spirit of God in all that we do, to recognize the Spirit of God in the other. May God be with you and have a good day. Our thanks to Lizetta Fitzpatrick and her family, parishioners of Sacred Heart Parish in Marystown, Newfoundland whose generous contributions made the televising of today's Mass possible. From the Missions, Part 2. A new CD features highlights from the annual National Catholic Missions of the past two years. Relive sacred moments with Michael Burgess, Arlene Duncan, and the choir of St. Mary Immaculate Parish. For the perfect gift, Send a check or call us at 1-888-383-6277.